was fun for you guys to get back for 2013. We missed each other. And guys, and that's what we do. But do you we guys take see about each other a week. During the breaks? We do sometimes. Now, what was it like, kind of getting back in the studio? I know you said you did a few songs and um, and with Lindsay in the studio for four days or something. You guys mm -hmm. were doing some stuff. What is it like when you guys get back together in the studio? What's the dynamic like? Well, we had a great four days. I went up to Lindsay's house and we, uh, I put some vocals on two songs and then we recorded another song and actually sat around and told stories to my assistant and laughed and cried and, and had to be actually focused back into doing the recording that we were doing because we can, you know, we are the, we are the best storytellers. We can, especially if somebody doesn't know all the stories, we are the greatest and we can just sit and tell you stories for days. So we had a very wonderful four days and we came out with some great music. And, um, and you know, it's a, uh, my mom passed away a year and two months ago. And so Lindsay and I talked a lot about that and she was the, the last of the old guard. And so we're, it's been a little shocking for all of us, but I think in a strange sort of way, it's kind of really re kind of connected us in a way because we, we miss her and we wish she wasn't gone. And, uh, and she loved, she loved Lindsay and she loved Mick and she loved me. So um, it's, you know, it's been something that's been a little bit, and she would be so happy to know that I think that she's really a little bit of our the bonding thing. What you know, that? missing, losing Barbara has really, I think, brought us back together in a lot of ways. And uh, besides the fact that we are now really starting to appreciate that there are many generations of kids out there that really are really, that really love our music and we can blame that on their great parents for playing our music to them when they were little. How is it kind of living that lifestyle always on the road? Is that something, I mean, it's obviously something you enjoy, but how have you guys been able to balance sort of family life and being able to also just have a little bit of downtime as well, but you're always on the road? How do you balance that? Well, he has three children and Nick has, what, 20 children? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, Busy boy. And, yeah, and, um, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, and so I have a dog. It's possible, it's possible. <laughs> and she's 14 and she weighs seven pounds. <laughs> so it's like, you know, uh, I mean, it is, they do it, it's possible, you know. I have a dog, I, I, I don't really know. So, um, but it's, it, it, it makes for a very interesting life. And it's also like never a boring moment because we, you know, and we've talked, we, that thing about, it is like a marriage, you know, and if you're together every 24 hours a day, every single day, no matter how much you care about somebody, you need a break. So we take that three year break and it seems to work really beautifully for us. What do you guys remember from that time of being remembered? Did you guys actually at that time feel like this is special, this is going to be something huge, becoming 40 million albums and obviously an amazing career for all three of you? I, I think... It was 1977. 75 was the first one, and it's just for one second there. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, it was a very hard time for us because we were all kind of breaking up, and so it was a very sad time. But we, um, we were, what blows my mind when I go back and think about that time is that we were extremely focused on our music, and we all really took that stand of, I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up. And we all five felt that way. And so when we would go into the studio, we might be, you know, we might be just like totally being really fighting on the outside. But when we went into the studio, we really became, you know, we, we might be a little angry, but we still had, we still brought our focus back. And that's why all that music turned out so amazing. Had we been different people, had we been people that were not focused, that record wouldn't have been a good record. It would have been a terrible record.